play is a vital building block of bonobo relationships. It's so important that they continue to play as adults, and that's unusual in the animal kingdom. But bonobos do something even more surprising. To demonstrate that, we found ourselves a little volunteer. And in the name of science, we're going to tickle him. Scientists have only recently discovered that laughter is not unique to humans. I can't help laughing. Just like us, for bonobos, laughter is a form of communication. And what laughter is doing, it's a signal that tells other individuals, I want to continue playing with you. I want to continue interacting with you. In humans, for example, conversations that have laughter last longer. If we share a bout of laughter, we feel bonded, we feel relaxed. It really is a booster to that internal motivation, like, yeah, this is wonderful, let's keep doing it. Play is a safe way to test the boundaries of a relationship, and that helps to build an incredibly tolerant society. Oh my god! <laughs> we lost the food. <laughs> That's the naughty bonobo! In the wild, play makes all the difference. While chimps can be extremely aggressive towards each other, bonobos generally seem to get along. We have never observed lethal aggression, i.e. we have never observed a bonobo kill another bonobo. And that is very special, that's very different because that happens in chimpanzees and that happens in other primates as well. Another thing that makes bonobos different from every other great ape is that their society is run by females. Their approach to leadership involves a strict make love, not war policy. Adult bonobos have very open relationships which involve a lot of sex. It's a win-win situation. Males don't have to fight for female attention. And with so much physical contact, everyone is much more relaxed. But is there any more to it than that? Can we go as far as saying that the bombs involve love? It depends what you mean by love. If you mean human-like, romantic, monogamous love, no, I would say no. Now, if you mean the core of love, which to me is about protection and is about the physiological machinery of love, I don't see why we wouldn't call that love. 